In Nigerian politics, it is believed Yorubas own Lagos, but in the actual sense, it is not. The Yorubas, even the Nigerians at large, often call Tinubu the Jagaban of Lagos and Ashiwaju of Lagos. Ashiwaju, which means a leader in Yoruba language. That was the reason why the Yorubas were making trouble when Peter Obi of Labour Party won the presidential election in Lagos State because they felt so sad how Igbos will defeat the Asuwaju of Lagos, which is Bola Ahmed Tinibu. So guys, if you have not subscribed, kindly do so. Turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever a new video is published. And for my returning subscribers and those taking their time to watch my videos on a daily basis, I'm always grateful. May God reward you in all you do. At this moment, let's proceed. During the presidential election, the Igbos was attacked. All this happened because the APC know they cannot win any election in the Nigerian state. The Yorubas were actually destroying the Igbos property in Lagos, claiming they own Lagos state. Some of the educated ones in Lagos never abide to such and queried the chairman of APC, Bola Ahmed Adekulitinubu, who is the current president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, Sean Kuti, the son of late Afrobeat singer Fela Kuti, has come out to tell the Yorubas and Nigerians at large who actually own Lagos. Let's watch. This Igbo land, Yoruba land, Lagos is white man. Go and go to Ministry of Land in Lagos. See what Yoruba people, how many percentage of Lagos do Yoruba people own? How much of the land? How much of the go and look at it? The whole Nigeria. How much look at your oil industry? Who is controlling it? It's there. They, they hide it in plain sight. It is hidden in plain sight. They go there. That's the most expensive real estate in the whole Lagos. Who's, who owns it? Is it you? Have you seen a co-hotel real estate? Now, Eco Atlantic is an extension of the co-hotel owned by the same foreigners. Is it you that own it? You don't own anything in your country. Look at your telecom, the phones you use, MTN, in South Africa. I wouldn't be happy if it was white South Africa, eh, black South Africa. MTN is still white South Africa. You see the Europeans that are dominating our brothers in South Africa that own it, bring their money that they've stolen from our own brother there to come and steal our own money again in Nigeria. Is it from your country? Nine, nine mobile. Nine BC, we take and pay now. We need to sell out. Give us taxi slab. Carry our, all our money wrong. Go to your oil business. The upstream where the money of the oil business is. How many of your countrymen operate in the upstream sector? How many of them compete with Shell and Chevron and Mobi and Texaco and Elf? And all these huge European companies and BP all droning Nigeria's oil. All your farming in Nigeria, go and look at it. Who do you think they are farming for? They are farming to export. They are all subsidiaries of European companies. Go to your banks, the banks in Nigeria, all these big banks, hey, this Genovia, Ebatwe, all this. Go and look at the shareholders of their bank. How many percentage of those banks do they own? Go and look at it. I know for a fact that Carlyle Group is the majority shareholder in Access Bank. It came out when Access Bank acquired Diamond Bank, that the Carlyle Group was angry, and they wrote a letter exposing that they were the majority shareholders, that how dare this company, and they actually do the matter without taking permission from them first. Basically, that was what the letter was about. That why would they do the matter without their permission first? Imagine. These people both come to tell us that we shouldn't rescue ourselves financially anyway. That's another story entirely. Where is what do we what do you own? Absolutely nothing. In the country, we're all shouting. Ibo is this, the river is that. We own nothing. And these elites, these politicians, they are willing, this little 20, 20 to 30 percent that they are allowed to control. For their, in their own country, they are happy with it because they allow them to send their children to Europe and America to buy the best houses, to buy the best cars, 